Semino and Philippone is a New Jersey-based law firm with offices in Morristown and Hazlitt, devoted to providing quality legal representation and personal attention in the areas of residential and commercial real estate, estate planning, and personal injury. Contact Joe Philippone at 732-203-0060 or by email at jphilippone at cf hyphen lawfirm.com. Your future, it's on. Goals are on. Learning is on. CCM, the County College of Morris. Online. On point. On your terms. Over 80 majors. Major help. My career guidance. Number one in alumni salaries in New Jersey. Success. It's on. With CCM, the County College of Morris. Sign up now for summer and fall semesters. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable, and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. I've worked with many mortgage companies over the years, from the big banks where I thought I could get the best, most competitive rate, to the small guys where I thought I'd get more personalized service. And I never thought I could have it both, until I met Family First. Family First gave me the most competitive rates in the market with unmatched service. Their team is incredible. They were always at arm's reach, ready to answer my questions, help me weigh different loan options, and work through some of the most challenging closing situations and timelines. I have to say without a doubt, Family First is the best in the business and I strongly recommend them if you're looking to finance or refinance your home. Rich Latman, realtor with Keelan Latman, Sotheby's International Realty enjoys helping clients through the process of selling their home and finding their dream home. Whether you need more space, are a first time home buyer, or ready to downsize, Rich can help. Rich is a National Association of Realtors Circle of Excellence Award winner and one of the top producers in his area. With Rich, you can always expect expert analysis, excellent service, and exceptional results. For all real estate in Morris and Somerset Counties, contact Rich Latman at 908-839-8487 or by email at rlatman at klsir.com. Have you ever needed a day to relax during these stressful times? Well, then look no further than Modern Acupuncture. Modern acupuncture will ensure your time there will not only be relaxing, but make you feel rejuvenated. Not only will your stay be comfortable, but safe as well. All staff at Modern Acupuncture practice safe social distancing guidelines and keep all equipment and room sanitized after each visit. Modern acupuncture, making lives better. Behind the goal, we reset and TJ Santeda has it for the Vikings. Santeda brings it right past two defenders. Look at the speed in the open ice. Santeda, great stick handling, great shot. Here's Carlotti, oh! in the end zone, it is caught. Charge, good for the pass, here's a shot, right in front, score. And that is a base hit, the run will score. And Freshman, pull the check, gets the strike. Anthony Grosso is gonna make sure that the Wolfpack fans go home happy. Grosso for three, he got it! Uh -huh. Welcome back to Centenary University here in Hackensack, New Jersey as Morris Sussex Sports presents the 101 Sussex 
girls championship game as it went chalk top seeded sparta which comes into a record 19 and 3 they just wrapped up another division title going 9 and 1 in the very tough njack american under former sparta star and wake forest star an all-around great person kathy willie as they will take on their rivals from cross town right down route 517 the pope john lions who come in a record 11 and 12 against a brutal non-division schedule they went four and six on the american under their head coach a long time very successful good guy john slackman first time he's got the lines in the final in his nine years of coaching as they will square off here tonight for a championship welcome back everyone i'm dan clarillo with brian thomas of brian thomas basketball and brian you and i were talking these two teams have big shoes to fill after that great overtime victory in the boys final Hackerstown getting the win but before we break down this game, I want to thank Mia Gavin, the athletic director of Pope John. She does a great job. Known Mia a long time. She's here with her husband, Glenn, who was, used to be a coach at Pope John. He was, used to do games with me back today. Glenn, a big hoops guy. As I uh, want to thank Mia Gavin. Also want to thank Steve Stoner and Kathy Willey at Sparta for sponsoring their half of this championship game. And the man next to me, Brian Thomas. Brian, before we break it down, what's new at B2 Basketball? Yeah, Dan, you can check out BrianThomasBasketball.com. You can check us out on Instagram, on Facebook. We do stuff all year round based out of Sparta from kindergarten players all the way up through college kids. So once again, BrianThomasBasketball.com. Check it out. All right, round three. First one was a blowout in December, but Pope John was missing Alana Robinson, who's one of the best players not only in the area, but in the state yeah. of New Jersey, in my opinion. Second game, much closer. Faith Pappas had a monster game. Bailey Chapman had a big game to help uh, Pope John pull out that victory. So let's talk about these lines. 11 and 12, this is not a Cinderella story. They play a brutal non-league schedule. They play IHA, Mount St. Dominic. Uh, they play all these great, Monsignor Donovan. All these great games. John Slackman says this would get some better for games like this. Talk about Pope Johnny. We talked about Alana Robinson and Faith Pappas, but they're going to need more than those just to carry the load tonight. No doubt about it. I, I think if they come ready to play and they're firing, firing on all centers, they got an absolute shot to win this game tonight. No they are talented. They have scoring punch. They can defend. They know how to play the game of basketball. They played a lot of great competition, as you mentioned. So they're going to be ready to roll, and I expect a very, very solid performance out of them tonight. They're starting along. Number, number one, Matty Rento, the junior, five points a game, three point, excuse me, 3.1 rebounds. Kylie Squire, number two, the junior. She scores about six points a game, grabs about five boards. She leads the team in steals. Then there's Alana Robinson, 13.7 points per game, 9.7 rebounds, four assists. Having a great year. Faith Pappas, the Ford and commit, number 23. Both the Robinson and Pappas, 1,000 point scorers. Faith scores 16.4 points per game, 5.3 rebounds, and she's a sharpshooter. She's developed more as then she was only kind of a shooter, but now she's a terrific all around player. 51 threes and then Maddie Miller in the middle does a great job 10 and a half points a game nine rebounds 43 blocks we talked about them Sparta comes in 19 and 3 91 just wrapped up the American division uh, they Pope John got to the final as they were able to knock off 100 central 49 36 the seventh seed and Hackenstown gave them all they wanted number 14 seed and a 56 54 victory uh, big big game for Alana Robinson, 25 and 10. Maddie Miller, 11 and 10. And Pappas had 11 and 15. So we are going to listen to the national anthem. It'll be Rich Bevensey again from NJ.com. And we'll turn it over to Rich. Thank you. 
Another great rendition by Rich Bevensey of the National Anthem. So we talked about Pope John. Let's talk about this Sparta team. They are made to be something special this year, that quarter juniors. We mentioned 19-3, and 91. They played an unbelievable non-league uh, schedule. We saw the likes of New Providence, Gil St. Bernard's here on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. They played Red Bank Catholic. They played Manasquan. They took them all on, and that's to get them to this game. They won it two years ago when this group was freshmen. When Freddie Gefke was coaching, the great Fred Gefkin, 14 SAL Festival titles. Kathy Willey was a part of those back in the mid-'80s. So we'll give you their starting lineup. Brim McCurry, number 13, 21 points a game, 9.5 rebounds. Uh, she also grabs, makes six assists, and she can shoot threes with 16. Allie Sweeney, the terrific point guard, 12 and a half points a game, four rebounds, five assists a game. She's got 43s. Mason Munier, she's been terrific at getting better every game. Mason, number 21, six points, three and a half rebounds. Bailey Chapman is a lockdown defender, scores 11.4 points a game, four rebounds. She's got 24 threes. But she's really stepped it up on the defensive end this year. She usually marks up against the top player from the other team. And her and Faith Pappas went at it last game that you saw here in Morris Sussex Sports. And Alexa Acker, three of her last four games, a double-double. She's averaging 7.5 points a game, 8.6 rebounds, and she's got 48 blocks. Brian, we've seen this Sparta team all year. If they come and play their game, they should be in good shape. Without a doubt, when they're at the top of their game, there's not many teams in the entire state of New Jersey that can beat this team. But I think we have one here tonight in Pope John. We talked about that. As far as going to have to play their A game, they're going to have to make sure that they are disciplined, that they are not in foul trouble. That's the one weakness that they do have is they don't play a lot of players off the bench, which hasn't hurt them a lot this year, but it's always something on the table. But if they come to play and they play their top game, boy, they are fun to watch. No doubt Sparta got the top seed. They beat number eight, Peberg. Uh, handled them pretty easily in the first round. And then they blew out Warren Hills, the fourth seed, 83-50 last week. Brim McCurry, 29 points, 14 rebounds, six assists. Just another day at the office. Another day at the office. Uh, and Bailey Chapman and Allie Sweeney chipped in with 14. So the game we did at Sparta, Alana Robinson, I think, made, missed one shot the entire game. She played great. Pappas played great, and Sparta was still able to win. Well, and Alana Robinson, all her shots were, were mid-range. I think she hit probably seven out yes. of eight between 15 and 19 feet. She was absolutely amazing. Faith Pappers was, was fantastic as well. They're going to have to make sure that they get a little bit of help from everybody that's on the floor, not just from certainly those two girls, which they are capable of doing. So I think we're in for a very exciting one tonight, Dan. No doubt. These teams, no secrets between them. Last time Pope John was able to beat Sparta was in opening night of the freshman year for Sweeney, McCurry, and Chapman. We That's did right. that game 52-49. Alana Robinson had 20 points and 17 rebounds. And Carly Fitzmorris had 10 points. And Chloe Captoni had a big game with 14 as well. So it'll be Maddie Miller and Alexa Acker. Sparta in the home white. Pope John in the visiting blue. Top seed against the second seed. Girls, girls with chalk with the boys. Top seed got through Hackenstown, but Wolf kills the sixth seed. And we are underway. Pappas will get the tip. And Pope John will have the first possession as they will give it up. And running the show there was Maddie Rento. Robinson, that's her shot, and she knocks it down. She is absolutely deadly from that range and has been all year long. She put in so much work in the offseason, and it shows. She's on McCurry. Brim Curry tries to feed Chapman, will stay here. Acker and Maddie Miller is a big battle. Without a doubt, those are two solid players. They do a lot for each team. Defense, rebounds, block shots, huge. When we saw them against Morristown Sparta, that high-low game with McCurry and Acker was tremendous. And right there, Miller showing what she can do in the middle. Acker normally sticks that right back. She was definitely a deterrent. Pope John coming out straight man to man tonight. Allie Sweeney going to Richmond. Bailey Chapman swings it back over. McCurry with the take. Can't get it to go. Can't get this put back. And Miller gets her first board. This is Rinto. Swings it back. Kylie Squire stepped back short. Oh, great rebound by Faith Pappas. 
Back to Rento, good hands by McCurry, will stay here, Squire. Alana Robinson. Wow, what a stroke, that's automatic. Anytime it leaves her hand from that range, you know it's going in. Kylie Squire's older sister, Kenna, on those great teams, and John Slackman got to a section final a couple years back. 2,000 point scorer at Sussex Tech and Pope John as she's playing at Stevens. So a quick early lead for the Lions. They needed that. McCurry shot off the rim, Chapman with the board. Sweeney spots up for three, knocks it down. The one thing you really got to do if you're going to beat Sparta is you have to limit second chance opportunities because Sparta is so good at taking advantage when they get offensive rebounds like we just saw. When they won the title in 2020, Ali Sweeney was a freshman, so was McCurry and, and, and Chapman. And we'll have an offensive foul on Rento. Sweeney hit some huge free throws down the stretch for them to win that championship. Brent McCurry was the MVP of that game. They won 58-34. Sweeney calls it out. What a great matchup, Robinson against McCurry. Unbelievable. Inside to Acker, and a foul. Let's see who they call that on, because that could be Maddie Miller's second foul. It looks like they're gonna get it on Alana Robinson, I believe. So each team with one foul. Actually, two fouls in lines, no fouls in Sparta. Alex Acker, we said, double-doubles in three of her last four games. The senior, yes. back rims the first. She's really come on strong, especially in the month of February. She's done so much for them defensively, blocking shots, rebounding. She's been a huge key for them. Going to Colgate for softball. And we're tied at four. Faith Pappas, Chapman on here again, blocked by Acker. Robinson gets it right back to see if she pulls up. She will. Wow. <laughs> I mean, you can just laugh because she, she doesn't miss that mid-range. It's beautiful to see. It's all net. There's no rattling around. She's got six. All Pope John's points. Chapman left the low for three, no good. Pope John coming off some tough losses coming into this game, losing to Randolph. So, you know, and they also lost to, uh, I believe, Morristown. So, uh, excuse me, Chatham. So, two good teams. Two real good teams. They lost. 38-36 to Randolph, and they lost 52-49 to Chatham. You know, you look, they got 12 losses. None of them are blowouts except for the Pope John win. Maddie Miller can't get it to go. Sweeney with the rebound. And there's not a lot of bad losses either. I mean, there no. might be one or two, but most of them are good, hard, competitive losses. McCurry back to Acker, short jumper. She rattles it home. When Alexa Acker scores the basketball, this team typically goes to another level because you know Allie's going to score. You know Bryn's going to score. When they have other other kids contributing. Steal by Mason Munier. Puts on the brakes. Nicely done. Very controlled. Nice shot fake. Way to use the glass. Sparta takes the lead, 8-6. Another good crowd here for the girls game. Second game with a double dip. Faith Pappas pull up. The one thing we always talk about if you're playing a Sparta team is you have to get off to a good start. And so far, Pope John has gotten off to a great shooting start. All eight of their points have come from those mid-range jump shots. And also, I would not want to play horse with Alana Robinson or Faith Pappas. <laughs> that would be over in five letters. They can just shoot lights out. McCurry patiently gets it to Sweeney. McCurry will take it. Getting a piece of it is Robinson. Munir, and we'll have the held ball. 
Alana Robinson came to play tonight, Dan. She certainly did. We said Pappas going to Fordham. Robinson uncommitted. McCurry swings it over. Unselfish. Munir with the jumper. Unselfish is right. And we talked about Alexa Acker making shots down low when Mason's hitting those jump shots. It also opens everything else up for these Spartans. Acker and Mason both have four. Pappas. Great offensive board by Squire. Miller scoop shot, no good. Sweeney comes out with the rebound. This is where they're so dangerous, Dan, in transition with Ali Sweeney on the... Sweeney behind the back, gives it up to Chapman. Alexa Acker long distance. An 18-footer from Alexa Acker, not something you expect out of her, but she's feeling it in this first quarter. She's got six. And the reason it's so big is because you know eventually Bryn and Ali are gonna get loose. And the foul. Pappas will go to the line. Strong move by Faith Pappas. Scooping it up and under with that right hand from the three-point play. Checking in for Pope John, number 10. Two fouls on Sparta. Uh, excuse me, one foul on Sparta, two on Pope John, Pappas. Completes the three-point play. Left alone, Chapman. Can't get the go. Next box out by Bermier, but right there is Alana Robinson. Give it up to Robinson. Turns around, spins, and gets that to go. Another one, and that one was a different variety. She looked like she was dead in the water. But good pivot, nice patience, and another bucket. She's four for four from the floor. Eight points, 13-12 lead Sporta. Great box out by Pappas, and a foul. And if you're a Pope John fan, you gotta love the energy that they're coming with in this first quarter on both ends of the floor. They're really working hard defensively. They're going after rebounds, they're getting loose balls. They're off to a very good start. Renta will bring it up. Squire. Back to Pappas. She can hit it from there with the hands in her face. Rento rolls to the basket. Can't get it to go. Acker with the board. 1-10 to go first quarter. Pope John with the 13-12 lead. Thanks for joining us live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Again, want to thank Mia Gavin at Pope John and Father McHugh, my senior McHugh. And also want to thank Steve Stoner at Pope at Sporta. If you want to get your game on, you want to get the digital trading cards, you want to advertise on all the great platforms George Muha has, send an email to George at Off the inbounds, the Curry posting up. Spins, gets it. That's where Brynn is so good. If she gets it there, she can spin left, she can spin right, she can use her right hand, she can use her left hand. So it's just very difficult to cover at that spot on the floor. Her first bucket of the game gives Sparta the lead. Pap is left alone. She's dangerous from there. Rento with the board. Robinson, five for five. I mean, you just throw your hands up in the air. I mean, it's just a beautiful thing to watch. It's absolutely automatic. Love it. Folks at home, show your kids. They want to learn how to shoot the yes. basketball. Was she at your shooting clinic? <laughs> she could give a she clinic. She could have run the clinic. She's putting a clinic on now. High scoring first quarter. Nice dump down, Acker. Two seconds to go. And the buzzer will sound a highly entertaining first quarter here in the HWS Championship game. It's top seeded Sparta with a 16-15 lead over number two Pope John. We'll be back right after this live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. College of Morris, athletics are on. CCM baseball. CCM volleyball. CCM basketball. Oh yeah, it's on. CCM's women's soccer, it's on. Nine athletics programs. CCM softball, it's on. CCM golf, it's on. Esports, oh yeah, <laughs> it's on. 
CCF, County College of Morris. Go Titans! Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. And we're back here at Centenary University in Hackensack East West Championship game. Pope John Sparta, Sparta with 16-15 lead. Want to thank Mia Gavin of Pope John, Steve Stoner of Sparta, and Lana Robinson with 12. She's six of six from the floor. And we just saw Kenneth Squire just walk by. Yes, we did. She's actually at NJ, NJIT. I said Stevens. I want to correct myself. 2,000 point score. We'll have a foul on the floor. So Robinson with the 12. She had. <clears throat> she's got 12. Uh, Pappas with five. Alex Acker leads Sparta with eight. Brim McCurry with two. Three fouls on Pope John, two on Sparta. Little jumper battling for the board. Acker and coming out with it is. Squire and Renta will bring it up. Lions looking to add to their one point lead. Off the screen. Miller. Oh, nice little give. Pope John can't finish. Beautiful play. There's a missed opportunity. McCurry back to Acker. Back rims it, gets her own miss. Battle for the ball. She gets it to Mason Munir and Sparta will reset with Ali Sweeney. Good patience by Sparta to bring it back out. Let's see what they get into here. Junior, baseline jumper, no good. Acker, powers up, can't get it to go. McCurry with the putback. She's got four. Britt doesn't have a lot of shot attempts thus far early in the game, but you know that's coming. She's been more of a facilitator. Right. It's only a matter of time before... She really exerts her will all over this game. She is a terrific passer blocked by McCurry. As we were saying. Gives it up to Sweeney. Can't get it to go. Good box out. She comes back and gets the board. Chapman. Sparta being patient. Oh, McCurry down low. Swings it out. Munir, short jumper. Can't get it to go. Tap back out. Battle for the ball. Acker and Pap is battling. Going to be Pap is winning that battle. We have a blooded situation here. Maddie Rento will head off. And looks like coming in for the Lions, number 12. Elanise Frere. Looks like a talented yeah. sophomore. Looks like she caught an inadvertent elbow. We'll take care of that. Hopefully it's nothing and she'll be back in the game quickly. Let's hope so. Book John will get it in. Maddie Miller back to Robinson. First miss. Good contest by Brim McCurry on that one. Maddie Miller battling and she's going to get the foul on Munir. And she's got two. 5.26 to go here in the second quarter. And obviously Pope John is a different team when Maddie's on the bench. Without a doubt. Looks like they're going to keep her on the floor for now. Got a high pick and roll here. Double. And with the duck in with McCurry. Swings it over, Munir gives it back up to Chapman.
Sweeney. Back to McCurry. Curry with the little runner off the glass. She's got six. She is just then. They're going to come with a, it looks like a 2 2 1 full court press. She's so good going to her left and finishing with her left in the lane. Skip it over to Squire. Miller, she thought about it. Ferrer puts it on the floor. She drives and draws the foul. That'll so be on Acker. So Pope John with four fouls, Sparta with three. And she'll hit the first. And whereas we've already seen Sparta will institute some full court pressure. Typically, teams won't press Sparta just because Ali Sweeney is such a good ball handler that it's fairly ineffective most of the time. So I wouldn't anticipate Pope John will throw a press on unless it becomes necessary. She is a one person press breaker. Sweeney loses the handle. Battle for the loose ball, held ball. Pappas and Bailey Chapman going at it. And we know they went at it during oh, that boy. fourth quarter of the game in Sparta, and they both played really well. And played they were, hard. They were getting after it, diving on the floor for loose balls, so that's a, that's a really fun matchup to watch. <clears throat> Sparta will inbound. They get it in. McCurry can't get it to go. Tapped out by Acker would be Pope John Ball. And they're not into their trapping press, which they like to do at certain times of the game. But typically, the one spot where we've seen them get beat is over the top with this press. So Alexa Acker, she's doing a good job of getting back. But if you can look up the floor, you can typically get something. Robinson. Miller with a big offensive board. Maddie Miller trying to mix it up and strip. Good job by Munir and Acker. McCurry gets rid of it, and they'll get it back to the capable hands of Ali Sweeney. Chapman, Ferrer all over her. Dump inside, turnover, Robinson gets it. Faith Pappas. Trying to take McCurry, good D by McCurry right now. Papp is with the move and blocked by McCurry. Outstanding defense. That's just one-on-one -on -one defense right there. Great outlet to Munir for the finish. Allie Sweeney in a terrific pass. A perfect pass. The only place that could have been is exactly where she put it. A nice finish by Mason. All started by that outstanding defense by Brim McCurry. Let's see if this gets the Sparta team loose a little bit. Pappas with the take and falls. No, it won't. Pope John's going to keep on coming. She's going to continue to be aggressive. Looks like Pope John's going to take a timeout. Rest, rest some legs up, I think, on this one. I, I agree with you on that. Pappas now has seven. Robinson with 12 for Pope John. Hey, folks, you want to get all the action? Subscribe to the Morris Sussex Sports YouTube page. Hit that subscribe button. You'll get notifications when all the games will come your way. George Muha does a great job with that. And also check out the wrap-up show on Thursdays live from the Sussex County Community College studio. My man Paul, the producer of tonight's game, a big part of that. So check out all the highlights. And if you want to get a digital trading card, send an email to georgeamorrisonsports.com. It's a great little gift. It's a cool thing George puts together. And if you want to advertise with 4 million views on all the platforms of Morris Sussex Sports, your business will get noticed. I guarantee you that. <clears throat> so send an email to George and be join the team at Morris Sussex Sports. Dan, the one thing we didn't even talk about is that, you know, we're over here in Hackettstown and HWS Finals, but you know, it's a crosstown rival like none other in this area. No. You know, so this would be a great game no matter when and where it was played. I mean, we probably could have played in Sparta. Right. Save ourselves some travel. Sweeney draws the foul. And we know she's been nursing that bad back, and you can see when she hit the ground. Every time she goes down, you just kind of cringe. Yeah. Foul will be the fifth. It'll be fifth foul on Pope John. So Sweeney will go to line, and she'll shoot two. Maddie Miller on the bench with the two fouls. Mm -hmm. 
Barr increases his lead. And this is the second rebound, Robinson, 23-21 our score. Maddie Rento, Sweeney on her, gives it back out to Pappas, Munir on her. Rento pulls it back out, 2.30 to go. Sparta's in a 1-2-2 now. As they mix it up just a little bit, give Pope John a bit of a different look. Back in the glory days of Freddie Gefkin, he ran that 1-3-1. Sure did. With Melody Pearl up top, six foot one. Rento with the jumper, knocks it down for three. Big time shot there by Rento. Nice job of Pope John of being patient, moving the ball, looking for the open shot. They'll take a one point lead, 24-23, with two minutes to go here in the first half. Chapman, inside, Acker Smarley gives it back out to Sweeney. McCurry, nicely done. So tough to stop when she's coming down here with a head of steam from that top of the key three-point line. She's got eight. Robinson, miss her last two, she changes that. But she made that shot because of all the ones she made before, so now you gotta come up and guard her. She can give you a little shot fake and then one dribble quick pull up to the right side. He's got 14. We'll have a foul on the floor. <clears throat> Six foul, next foul we'll have one and one for Sparta with 118 to go. Mason Munir. Back to Mason. Over to McCurry. Off the screen. She takes it, can't get the go. Rebound pulled down by Pappas, one minute to go. Nice shot by Pope John of limiting Sparta to one shot on most of these possessions in this second quarter. Robinson. Ferrer. Skips it over. Robinson, she'll take the long distance jumper, and knock it down for a three. My goodness, I mean, what, what else are you gonna say? I mean, that was, she's, she's scoring from everywhere. 30 seconds to go, Pope John with a four point lead, Robinson with 17. John Slackbridge is kind of laughing over there. Yeah, laughing because she's on his side. Yeah. Back to Sweeney with 15 seconds to go. Sweeney with six. Bailey Chapman's gonna launch it. Can't get it to go. Good box out by Pappas, and the first half is in the books here at Centenary University Championship game of the HWS. It's the second seed of Pope John Lions with a 29-25 lead over top seed at Sparta. We'll be back with second half action right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. If you've ever been around bad leadership you know it right away find out what it takes to be a great leader in the book don't wait lead now by jim lord filled with real world experiences and lessons that you can easily apply to your own situation don't wait lead now will help you become a more effective leader whether in business family or life in general start your leadership journey and reach your full potential learn more and order at don't wait lead that's don't wait lead Whether you are a trucker or a landscaper, accountant or carpenter, needing workers' compensation, general liability, or commercial auto insurance, Gladstone Coverage Group has you covered. Gladstone Coverage Group is a one-stop agency specializing in many types of insurance, including life, personal, business, and Medicare supplement insurance, as well as employee benefits, serving many communities throughout New Jersey. As an insurance partner protecting you and future generations, contact Tyler Brinson at 908-698-0477 or by email at tylerb at gladstonecoverage.com and tell him Morris Sussex Sports sent you.
If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. As the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank, I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. If your system is older than 10 years, you need to see this. Chances are your home is probably not heating up like it used to. Which begs the question, are you just waiting for your system to fail on you? It's no surprise with the winter storms around here. The demand for system repairs are way up, which means paying way more of your hard-earned dollars to have your system serviced. Which is why at ICS, we make sure to service your home quickly and efficiently. So you can get back to enjoying your home again. You've got my promise. So if you don't want to spend your winter freezing your butt off, visit our website, icshvac.com. Chairman's Elite Club Loan Officer Mitch Vandalinda of Loan Depot is your go-to person for home loans, whether it's a new home mortgage or a refinance of your current home, and she specializes in renovations for those who want to add on and fix up. Because of her extensive knowledge of loan programs, problem-solving skills, and steadfast commitment to customer service, Midge ensures that each borrower receives superior guidance as they pursue one of the most personal investments of their lifetime. Reach out to her today at 973-202-0992 or mvandalinda at loandepot.com. If you're not getting the most comfort out of your system, check this out. Like the rest of your neighbors, you want your home to be as comfortable and inviting as possible. It's no surprise with the winter storms around here. The demand for system repairs are way up, which means waiting around for a while for a technician to show up and having to be stuck feeling uncomfortable for a long time, which is why at ICS, we make sure to service your home quickly and efficiently so you can get back to feeling warm and comfortable again. So if you don't want to spend your winter freezing your butt off, visit our website. ICSHVAC.com. Sports medicine is the care of athletes, college athletes, professional athletes, amateur athletes, and we see a lot of weekend warriors. At the Sports Medicine Center, we're up to date on all the latest techniques, both surgical and non-surgical treatment options. 
for treating all sorts of injuries. It's important to make the diagnosis, make it quickly, and start the ball rolling with the treatment. If you can get an MRI done the same day of your injury, a lot of times that's gonna help get that treatment started in the right direction instead of waiting two, three weeks. I think reassurance, making the diagnosis, and coming up with a good plan for that particular athlete is a very good thing. It helps to get the folks back on track and limits how discouraged they can actually be from the injury. Patient education is important. We want the patient to be part of the treatment plan and having the patient have an understanding of what their injury is, what their treatment options are, that helps them to get back to the sport that they love. We have doctors with all different uh, specialties within sports medicine, state-of-the-art concussion care, regenerative medicine, and then of course we have our orthopedic surgeons. If something needs to be fixed, uh, we can fix it, more than likely in a minimally invasive uh, fashion. With the arthroscopic and minimally invasive procedures, we're able to do much of this surgery inside the joint without having to damage any of the surrounding tissue. It allows an athlete to return to sports much quicker. We're seeing an excellent result with regenerative medicine. Ligament injuries that would normally have taken six to eight weeks, now we're seeing two to three week recovery periods. It gives me great pleasure to be able to treat an athlete and see them succeed back on the field. As they will give it up, and running the show there with Maddie Rento. Robinson, that's her shot, and she knocks it down. Back to Rento, good hands by McCurry, will stay here, Squire. Alana Robinson. Wow, what a stroke. That's all awesome. Quick early lead for the Lions, they needed that. McCurry shot off the rim, Chapman with the board. Sweeney spots up for three, knocks it down. The one thing you really got to in transition with Ali Sweeney on the... Sweeney behind the back gives it up to Chapman. It looks at Acker long distance. Here, baseline jumper, no good. Acker powers up, can't get it to go. McCurry with the putback. She's got four. Brid doesn't have a by McCurry. Outstanding defense. That's just one on one defense right there. Great outlet to Munir for the finish. Ali Sweeney in a turn. Gets he ran that 1 3 1. Sure did. And Melody Pull up top. Six foot one. Rento with the jumper, knocks it down for three. <clears throat> He's got eight. Robinson, miss her last two, she changes that. Robinson, she'll take the long distance jumper, knock it down for three. And we're back here at Centenary University here in Hackensack. HWS Championship game, Hunter Warren Sussex, and it's second seeded Pope John with a 29-25 lead over top seeded Sparta. Thanks for joining us live here on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. We want to thank Mia Gavin at Pope John and Steve Stoner at Sparta, the outstanding athletic directors, for sponsoring tonight's game. As Pope John with the four point lead, Alana Robinson leading the way with 17, Faith Pappas with seven for Pope John, Brim McCurry with eight, Alexa Acker with eight, and Mason Renier six. So thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Cleary, along with Brian Thomas of Brian Thomas Basketball. Before we talk about the first half, Brian, what's new with BT Basketball? Yeah, Dan, you can check out BrianThomasBasketball.com. We are on Facebook. We're on Instagram. we got a lot of great stuff all over the place. Check it out, BrianThomasBasketball.com. All right, so would it be too easy to analyze the first half and just say Alana Robinson could miss? Uh, it would be easy, but it would also be pretty darn accurate. I right. mean, she was just absolutely on fire from everywhere. And not, not just that, but she played really good defense, boxed out, rebounded. So she is absolutely the, the number one star of the show in this first half. No doubt. And we said at the top of the show, no surprise here. Pappas, good job keeping her feet. Squire for three, can't get it to go. This is not a surprise to you and I. No, not at all. We talked about this at the top. I mean, if Pope John comes to play and they play discipline and they make shots, they can put themselves in a position to win this basketball game. In the first half, that's exactly what they've done so far. Foul on the floor will be the first of the second half. They'll be on Matty Rento. McCurry swings it over to Acker. Acker had a great first quarter. Maddie Miller playing with the two fouls for Pope John. Junior swings it over to Ali Sweeney. Back to Bailey Chapman. Good defense by the Lions, but Sweeney will keep the possession. 
Rento on her, Sweetie. And deflected will stay here. But you're right, Dan. Very good defensive possession by Pope John on this early on in this third quarter. They're playing solid on the ball defense. Their weak side help is good. Chapman better get it in. She does to McCurry. Swings it back out. Munir left alone. Can't get the go. And Miller tapped that out. Good box out by Maddie Miller. This is Rento. Lana Robinson with 17. Sweeney. Great defense, Ali Sweeney over and back. Spectacular defense. And because Ali never gained possession of it, that's why they were able to call the backcourt there. As Brian mentioned, Ali played with a sore back all year. And it didn't hurt her there. No, it didn't. That's a nice touch. Not even using the glass. And here comes that one, two, two. This is their trapping full court press where the middle and all the way up is usually open. And here comes that next trap. Little scramble, Pappas looks to answer. Great rebound by Robinson. He's gonna get there. Chapman battling with Squire. Squire gets it to Robinson, still loose. And McCurry's got such great hands. She's gonna give it up. Sweeney, good job by Rento. Ball movement here, McCurry left alone, knocks down a three. What a big possession there, but it all starts with the Sparta defense that adds to their offense. Bryn's got 11, and they retake the lead. Robinson, good D by McCurry. Outstanding D by McCurry. Miller rolls to the basket, can't get the finish. McCurry, with the board. McCurry is starting to take that, that challenge personally with the way that Alana played in that first half. She's now getting up in her face and not allowing that, that mid-range jump shot to let loose. I'm sure that was mentioned to her. Jumper no good. Great job by Mason of keeping that ball alive and knocking it off a Pope John player. Just these little extra possessions, Dan, that add up in the end, you know, you don't see them in the box score, but they do make a difference because you give these teams, either team, you give them extra shots, it's going to be a problem. Chad will get it into McCurry. Good D by Robinson. Absolutely. Acker with the jumper. She's playing great. She has been playing great. She's got 10. Absolutely huge points. Robinson, see if she pulls up, she will. And rattles that one in. Yeah, I mean, that's a layup. Why go in for a layup when you can make a layup from 17 feet? It's the same thing for her. She's got 19. It reminds me of the sharpshooters Pope John had a few years ago, Kristen Spence. That's right. She could shoot it. There's a basket. McCurry again. Yeah, you can't let her post up that low and close to the basket because she's going to make the vast majority of those. Pressure defense again, good job. Robinson gives it good up to hustle. Miller. Oh, what a job by Allie Sweeney. Outstanding, this is where they're dangerous. In the open floor, McCurry. Knocked out by PJ. Always dangerous. Watch out for Brim McCurry curling back around on this inbounds play. There it is. She shapes up, presents, dumps it into Acker. She draws the foul third on Maddie Miller. And there's that little high low that we've seen so many times. Brim gets the ball about the foul line area. Alexa Acker ducks in. They put it up top to her and she goes strong to the basket. Let's see what Coach Slackman does with Maddie Miller having three. Acker hits the first. And the thing about this press that we've seen from Sparta all year is that it's not always about just getting turnovers in the front court, but like we saw with Ali Sweeney, it could be closer towards the basket. It could be any sort of disruption. So it's not just about the steals 
as you're seeing right here, it's deeper than that. Sparta with a five point advantage, it's the largest of the evening. And this is where we see Sparta go on those runs. Can Pope John take the punch? We saw New Providence take it and come back and make that a great game. One of the few teams that we've seen that actually took that punch, you're right. And they'll get it into Robinson. A little stronger now with Maddie Miller. Great positioning with the putback. Great job by Maddie Miller of using her strength and attacking that basketball and then attacking the basket. Three point game, 36 33. Three and a half to go. Oh, McCurry, that's too easy to let her do that. She can't finish. Miller with the rebound. Chapman, good active hands. Pappas. Scoop shot, can't get it to go. Looking for the foul. Look at it. Great job by Squire on the rebound. Gets it to Alana Robinson. Rento back up top. Miller trying to post up. Good job by Munir to get in front. Pappas swings it over. Squire, short. Rebound pulled down by McCurry. Beautiful. Great look to Chapman. Beautiful. Can't get it to go. Pappas brings it up. 2.45 to go here in the third quarter. Top seed is Sparta with a three-point lead over number two, Pope John. It's been a dandy. We, we saw a great boys final, and the girls final is not disappointed either. Pappas, she'll take it. McCurry tried to go through traffic and she draws the foul on Squire. We talked about this in the boys game, Dan, but it's actually kind of mirror image. Neither team plays a lot of girls. Right. They so, go, they're and, not deep. And this, this pace, you know, these types of games tend to take a lot out of you. There's a lot of emotions involved. There's a lot of activity involved. So we'll see how fresh legs are come fourth quarter for both teams. But Curry knocks it down. Such a huge part of her game that she has expanded, which makes she, it just makes her so much more deadly. And then getting the steal and the finish. And she's got 18. We got a timeout from Pope John. Smart move by Coach Slackman. He feels that that wave is coming. No doubt about it. The wave is here. Yeah, and you see it coming. You try your best. Timeout call by Coach Slackman. And we say this, we say this every time we see this Sparta girls team play, is that you have to play 32 minutes if you're going to come out with a win. This is why you gotta, you got to alleviate as many mistakes as possible. you got to box out. you got to limit the amount of shots that this Sparta team takes because any extra possession, any turnovers tend to lead to extra points and you can't leave anything on the table. You don't have to play a perfect game, but you got to play darn near close to a perfect game if you're going to beat this Sparta team. As we said, Sparta won it in 2020 in the old Sussex County Interscholastic League under Fred Gefkin, the legend. Freddie had 693 wins, 12 section titles, five in a row in North 1 Group 3. I don't think anyone's ever going to do that again. 19 SEIL regular season titles, 14 festival titles, three state championships, 85, 90, 90, and 2001. Kathy Willie was on the 85 team with Diana Seville in the Red Stats. That 90 team led by Liz Hansen and yes. Rochelle Drondakis and Christine Dawn Chaplin are both on that team. And the yeah. 01 team, Melissa Yegley, Megan Gent, who's on the staff, the Kyles, Jessica Trainer. And Pope John will get it over with under two minutes to go here in the third. Well, John's got to have a strong finish to this quarter. Oh, nice job by Miller to post up. And she draws the foul. Great job by Maddie Miller. Maddie's got great feet and really good patience down there on the block. In this age of positionless basketball, yeah. Maddie's a treat to watch as a true post player. No question. And she can even step out yeah, and knock, knock down the mid-range all the way out to three. But she is at her best when she's posting up on the block when she's boxing out when she's rebounding when she's getting blocked shots first foul on the spartans poke john with three and she knocks down both 
And being able to knock down free throws for a post player is absolutely huge. All right, Sparta with the six point lead. Ali Sweeney with the ball. Little runner gets it to go. Ali's eating up. Pretty little floater there by Ali. Now again with this press, as you can see, they're all the way up underneath the three point line. So that deep pass is there. Here comes Pappas and Robinson. Great pass by Pappas. And great defense by Mason Munir. Amazing hustle. Chapman goes up and blocked by Ripto came back on that one. And we'll have a foul. Great defense, both sides for both teams. This is awesome, Dan. These teams are giving it their all as you would expect. This is the first time Pope John's been in this final nine years. John Slackman's done a great job. He coached at Gill, he had the great Taylor Rooks. And I think back in that, when Bonnie Lewis coached at Pope John, she had some great teams going against Freddie Gifkin. Pappas, pull up. Can't get the go, rebound McCurry. See what this does is it allows Sparta to play their pace because it forces Pope John into quick shots. And this is exactly how Sparta wants to play. Robinson with the block. Squire tries to keep it and she steps out of bounds. Good hustle. Riley Munier is going to check in with 53 seconds to go. Sparta will get it in to Ali Sweeney. Sweeney trying to weave her way through, brings it back out. Great patience. Riley Munier. Acker had some positioning. Twenty-eight seconds. Acker gives it back out to McCurry. Good ball movement, left alone. Raleigh Munir can't get it to go. Bailey Chapman with the board. The D by Maddie Miller. And McCurry tacks the basket. Very good patience by Sparta on that possession. Of Take a lot of the clock down. Let's see if Pope John can get a good one. Six seconds to go, plenty of time. Miller, and she draws the foul. John Slack would not have happy with that baseline official. He's seen why the referee from up top have to pull that. Third foul, both teams with three fouls with 2.0 seconds to go. Maddie Miller will go to the line. Missed the first. And you still got time if you're Sparta for a decent look. Even if this shot goes in with 2.6, you get the ball in Ali Sweeney or Brim McCurry's hands as quick as they are, as fast as they are. You can get to the other side of half court. Misses both. There One second. Good if it goes. And the buzzer will sound. So Sparta with a 10 point lead, a big third quarter for the Spartans. They were trailing 29-25 at the half. They now have a 10-point lead as we will head to the fourth quarter live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Our goal at Reiner Pump Systems has been to provide customers with the best quality pumps and packaged pump systems that have solved their water and wastewater problems. We have been successful at satisfying our customers through honesty, hard work, engineering, fair prices, and outstanding customer service. Our greatest asset are the people dedicated to make Reiner Pump Systems a leader in the water and wastewater marketplace. Reiner Pump Systems started in 1998 as a family-owned business and has grown into one of the most respected pump sales force in the Northeast and now Pacific Northwest. Our success has been nothing short of amazing. We are now considered by most the go-to pump house for replacement pumps, big and small. Reiner Pump Systems. And hey, we're back here live at Centenary University in Hackensack, New Jersey. As Morris Sussex Sports presents the Hunter Warren Sussex Girls Basketball Championship game, second game of the doubleheader. First game, Hackensack boys won a thriller over Walkill Valley in overtime. And right now, at their terrific third quarter, where Sparta posted a 20-6 run. Sparta, the top seed, 
with a 10 point lead over number two, Pope John. Dan Cleary along with Brian Thomas. I want to thank both Pope John and Sparta High School for sponsoring this game. And Brian, what's new with BT Basketball? Yeah, Dan, you can check out BrianThomasBasketball.com. We're on Facebook, Instagram, BrianThomasBasketball.com. Check it out. Brim McCurry with 20, Alana Robinson with 19, the top scorers for both teams. Hell ball. Alexa Acker with 12 for Sparta. So, Brian, your thoughts on that third quarter? What was Sparta able to do to go on that 26 run? Well, we finally had that mini run like you were talking about, and it really started with that full court press. That's when they started to get that pace of their, of their game a little bit more up-tempo, which is what they like to do. They forced Pope John into a couple shots that they probably didn't want to take, and they were able to finish around the basket a little bit more. So they're going to continue into this press, as you would imagine. Robinson gets it over. This is Faith Pappas. Maddie Miller played very well at the end of the third quarter. They get it back inside to her. A little power move, can't get it to go, tapped away. And that will be Sparta ball. But a and very now, place, tough place to inbound. Yeah, now Pope John is going to come with a little man to man full court press. First time we'll see him that tonight. They trail by 10. Guineer gets it to Sweeney. McCurry going up for it, Pappas gets it. Good job by Robinson. Robinson for three, can't get it to go. Acker with the board. And travel on Acker. You can't get a better look than that if you're the Pope John Lions. You will take that seven days a week. The Lions trying to cut into their 10 point deficit. First couple minutes, so important. They gotta keep it within striking distance early in this fourth. There's Miller stepping out. And we talked about her mid-range. She is more than capable of that. Long two for Maddie Miller. And we'll have the hand check on Maddie Rento. We got another great crowd in here tonight, Dan. Both student sections, boisterous, but not obnoxious. Easy for us to say, we got headphones on. <laughs> <laughs> so 45-37 our score. Sparta won this championship two years ago. Looking at the defender title, no tournament last year obviously because of COVID. Great nice. look, Acker inside to Bailey Chapman. The one thing Sparta does really well is move without the basketball. And they caught him on that one, and here's a steal. Steal McCurry, and she draws the foul. Great job, Bailey Chapman. Just, she saw a glimmer of hope in a window open, and she cut back door quickly, and a beautiful on-the-money pass, almost like a softball pitcher from Alexa Acker. There you go. She threw the riser. Sure did. McCurry going along to shoot two. Fifth foul on the Lions. Green with 21 right now. Annalise Ferreira will check in, number 12. <laughs> 22 for Brin. And we talked about that in the first quarter, right? How she didn't shoot a lot, yep. and now she's got 22. Yep. Robinson steal by McCurry. Back to her. Nice. Inside, Sweeney amongst the trees, blocked by Pappas. Great job, Pope John getting back uh, on D. Oh. Look at McCurry to give the, and a block, but a foul. What a look by McCurry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. She is a treat to watch. She really is. We are very fortunate, No Brian. question. Blocks, steals, assists, buckets. You name it, she does it. Sixth foul on the Lions, timeout call by John Slackman, a full timeout with 6.08 to go. McCurry with 22, and we mentioned all the games we've done with Sparta. I mean, she's a D1 athlete. It's, uh, I think basketball might be her love, I'm not sure. I think she loves every sport she plays when she's in it, but she could go anywhere for volleyball, and she's an amazing catcher in softball. Yeah, she's one of those rare athletes that She's good at everything. She's got the work ethic where she's willing to, to, to do what it takes to get really good. 
And I mean, that combination is really hard to beat. And then she's got the passion and the fire where she just, she's, she's just gonna come after you every single play, play after play after play. If you notice the last three steals on this press were from Bryn. And it's not like she's scoring every time. Then she's, she's attacking, she's dropping it off. She's getting offensive rebounds. She's moving it, she's scoring, she's dropping it off again. I mean, I'm not sure I've ever seen somebody that has their hands involved in so many plays throughout the course of the game on both ends of the floor. I mean, more recently for High Point, Maddie Smith who went on and had a great yes. career at Holy Cross. But it literally feels at times like there's two or three of them out Absolutely. here because she's, you know, just her recovery on defense, where she is on offense. I mean, it's, she's all over the place. So Chapman will shoot two. Rattles in the first. And just like that, it's 50-37. Pope John had a lead at the half. Yeah, this is obviously danger time for Pope John. They have to find a way to get through this press and get some better quality shots. There's another steal. Sweeney looking for a dagger from three. Can't get it to go, but Curry kept that alive. You can feel the energy of the Sparta girls. They're, they're getting that. They know that this is the time. They're getting after every loose ball, every offensive rebound. Blood's in the water. They've been down on this side of the floor, which seems for like five minutes. They're like sharks. Get inside. McCurry. Pappas. And great job by Faith Very Pappas. Very good defense by Faith Pappas on that play, using her strength. But this pressure defense has been the difference. As it usually is. Pappas. Gets rid of it. Miller. Ferrer, she was, she's not shy to shoot. Pappas, that's her shot. In and out, rebound Acker. Sweeney, trucking tra traffic. She, yeah, she's got numbers. Can't finish. Rebound Miller's looking for a call. Bailey Chapman takes a shot. No whistle. She pops right back up, gets right on down the floor. Reverse, blocked by Acker. And they got numbers. Smart, Allie's gonna bring it now back out. Is uh, Chapman bleeding? She took a shot to the mouth. A little hard to see from here. Oh, great look inside, blocked by Robinson. And you can see just after that possession, the fatigue factor is just starting to kick in. Pappas. You can literally see it as they were coming down the floor that we got some tired girls on the floor now. And my goodness, the pace has been pretty crazy in this second half. And there's only been one or two subs pretty much this entire game. Absolutely. Miller's going to take a break with 4.29 to go. Pope John, of course, out of necessity, is going to come with this press now. And there's that one-person press breaker. Robinson gives up the foul. But what a luxury. You could pass the Bryn, who could take it herself, or you get Alley on the fly. Makes it a lot easier. Sparta, the top seed in North 1 Group 3. They'll play West Essex this week with a 1-16 matchup. And Pope John is the number five seed in North Non Public A. They will host St. Elizabeth, but they're on a crash course with IHA, who they only lost to by two during the regular That's season. Right. So this Pope John team has a chance to, to make some noise here in the postseason. No question. We've seen that tonight. Yep. They are talented. They know how to play the game. They play together. They play well. Well coached. Well coached, absolutely. John does a great job. Nine years with the program. Wow, has it been? Yeah. Because they were going through coaches there for a while. Yeah. The other thing about the Sparta team is they hit free throws. So when you're down, it becomes, when you have to foul them, it becomes much more difficult. We'll do it again. Again, 29-25, Pope John at the break. Yeah. See if she pulls up. Wow. It's a thing of beauty, isn't it? It certainly is. I enjoy, thoroughly enjoy watching that young lady play. She's got 21 now, but it's been a while since she scored. And one on one here for Mason Muir, 4.10 to go. Sparta will be in the bonus from here on out. 
Misses it. Who's there? McCurry. Good job by Robinson. Acker tries to get it in. The rebound pulled down by Pappas. Oh, nice look to Squire. Gets it to fall. Beautiful job by Pope John there. Be patient. Squire, a little curl cut. Beautiful pass, a nice floater. 3.48 to go. 53-41, our score. And Sparta's that, I mean, both these teams played amazing non-league schedule, but Sparta's allowed them to get that top seed over Rampo, who yeah. only had the one loss. Yeah, it was, it was that week with Gill in New Providence, yes, right, where they had those big-time wins with all those power points. So Pope John with the timeout. Again, if you want to get all the action, subscribe to the Morris Sussex Sports YouTube page. If you want to advertise 4 million views on all the platforms, your business will get noticed. Contact George at, George at morrisussexsports.com, digital trading cards. And check out the wrap-up report every Thursday at 6. Our buddy Paul, our producer, a big part of that. Live from the Mor uh, Sussex County Community College Studios. So the line's applying the pressure. Sweeney left wide open was Chapman. Great job by Bailey Chapman. The patience. Good body control. Here comes that trap again. They're trying to put the nail in the coffin. And, and that will be a turnover. Sparta ball. Again, I want to thank Bobby Grosso, the Hackenstein AD. Billy Foley, the Vernon AD, the directors of the tournament. And the staff here at Centenary, gracious host. A 55-41 lead with 3.20 in running. Sparta in no rush. No, but they're, they're also not a team that's going to take it out and, and burn a minute, minute and a half. They're going to still look to score. They're just going to disguise it a little more. Right. Well, so they're going to do, you know, based on opportunity. But they're not going to play a stall game. They're going to bring it out. And they're going to run their little motion. If they have something, they'll take it. And if they don't, they'll bring it back out. And they'll force Pope John, obviously, to do what they just did, which is commit a foul. Faith Pappas picks up the foul. One and one for Ali Sweetie. And we talked about the great Fred Gefkin. He would have put the ball in the fridge sure, Yeah, exactly. Exactly right. And he won a lot of championships doing that. Yeah, and that's something that the Sparta girls are probably not going to do. Is just hold it out top, you know, for a three-minute period of time. Sweetie hits the front end, which I'm happy about <laughs> from an entertainment standpoint. Absolutely. Sparta, we said top seed, and uh, last time they won a section title was in 2006. Yeah. Stacy Rossi, Kelly Kyle. And Sweetie hits both. Fifty-seven, forty-one. Our score. They do such a great job of cutting off that sideline in the press, forcing it to go back into that trap. And Pappas would draw the foul. Shooting foul, so she'll get two. Only the fourteen foul, I believe, on Sparta. Yes, indeed. So Pappas will shoot two, going to Fordham. Hits the first. Fifty-seven forty-three. Pressure again. Acker waiting, gets it to Munir. They break it easily. I mean, everyone out there. Terrific ball handler for Sparta. Yeah, I mean, you had Alexa Acker in the middle on that particular yep. play. With good patience. She didn't panic. Rento all over Sweetie. 222. Timeout call by Kathy Willie. Kathy on that 85 championship team. 29-0. Won the championship down at the old 
I think it was still called Bread and Burn Arena back then. Bread and Burn Arena. Yes, indeed. There you go. Now we're really dating ourselves. Oh, yeah. Holy smokes. Yeah. Everyone under 35 just tuned out. <laughs> On that 29-0 championship team, we said three state titles. Pope John made the state finals in 99. Right. Bonnie Lewis's last year, or 98, excuse me. And that team had Donna Dolan, who scored 1,000 points between Pope John and High Point. My old buddy Tara Petrolino went into a great broadcasting career. Krista Hessler on that team. And they lost to Red Bank Catholic in the state final at the Dunn Center. But Pope John looking to get back to that. They still got a lot of good basketball left in them. They certainly do. That's for sure. So Sparta calls a timeout. They have the comfortable 57-43 lead, 2.19 to go. Again, I want to thank both schools for sponsoring. Be a Gavin, the AD at Pope John, and Steve Stoner, the AD at Sparta. Sweeney. They're just so hard to, when you have a lead like this, because they do have such good ball handlers, and then, of course, you can get the ball to Alley, who's the best of the best. Lay, it's, lay it's up tough. through uh, free throws here. Yeah, I mean, it, it's tough to be able to, that's why you, you can't be down double digits under under three minutes, because it's just so difficult. Yeah, you're going to see a foul soon. Yeah. McCurry. Alley Sweeney dribbles out of it. 140 to go. Great possession by Pope John. Rento trying to give up the foul. She does double bonus. And John Slackman is going to send in the reserves. Ajane Cobb, 15, battling injuries all year. Number 30, Delaney Bogdan. Number 34, Olivia Brannigan, or Barnigan, excuse me. And number 25, Marissa Captoni. So Slackman. They, he has a chance to get to that final, or at least the semifinals, and then take his chance against IHA. But they played great in the first half. They played great in the first half. Alana Robinson, I would say that she was out of her mind, but she does that all the time. Right. I mean, that's just her game. And they're going to get a well-deserved round of applause for continuing to fight this entire game. Katie O'Keefe will check in, too. We'll probably be seeing Sean Ryan soon for Pope for Sparta. Might even see a timeout here afterwards to get the kids in. And that's what we'll see. So Brian, second half, that wave came and Pope John tried to stop it, but it's almost yeah, impossible. It was that third quarter. It was really almost the moment they put that trapping press on we've seen this so many times dan where you know you, you get a quick bucket and next thing you know you get a steal and then another quick bucket and boom there's six and then you know you come down and score and you stop the bleeding for a quick second but then you get four more points in a row next thing you know it's a it's a 10 2 run in a matter of 45 seconds and next thing you know you're fighting uphill the rest of the game and it, it's this is a difficult difficult team to climb out of a hole from Really, really hard to do. McCurry with 22 to lead Sparta. So, Acker gets a big hug. McCurry gets a big hug. Bailey Chapman, Ali Sweeney, Kathy Willie went working her way down the bench as they are a minute 30 away from hoisting the championship trophy for the second time in two years. Malaya Dobbs in, number 11. Katie Ryan, five. Haley Mars in, number three. Shona Ryan, we said she checked in. Riley Munir. So, Brian, they won the division, the NJAC division, a tough division. They won this tournament. State's next. What's the, the ceiling on this Sporting team? I don't think there is a ceiling. I mean, I think, you know, every goal that they set for themselves so far this season, they have now accomplished. And, of course, the biggest one is, is still to come with the state tournament. But... They've proven that they could play with anybody in the state this year. And I think that's what we'll see. 
Either way, Dan, like you talked about, we are unbelievably fortunate to be able to watch them as many times as we have. It's a special group, there's no question about it, and they're great kids on top of it. And Pope John, as we said, has a good chance to do some, uh, do a lot of damage in North Nam Public A. John Slackman and the gang played, as we said, a great first half, just sparted just too much. You have to look back at the tape and see what they can do a little bit better, a little bit different, but the best thing for them to do, of course, is just to get this one out of their mind and move on to the next one because now the, the extra post-postseason is getting ready to roll. Dobbs will bring it up. Not so sure if Pope John would want to foul there with 23 seconds to go. And again, I want to take this time to thank both schools for sponsoring it. I want to thank Hackenstein and Walker Valley for sponsoring the boys' championship game. That was a dandy. This was a good one. Sure was. Until Sparta does what it does. It just keeps tacking on that 20 to 6 third quarter. Fueled by that full court pressure defense. And they'll see West Essex in the first round. And, 60 43. And it happens so quickly, too. You know, it's like the run is here, and you look up, and it's a, it's a 10 point swing just like that. Cobb stepped back, can't get it to go. Good hustle by the Lions. Three seconds to go, so Sparta, congratulations to them. They are going to be your 2022 Hunter Warren Sussex girls basketball champs, defending their title from two years ago, as they will post a 60-43 victory. Congratulations to Sparta as they celebrate. They'll move to 20-3. Pope John will go to 11-13. Another great game by Brim McCurry. Uh, probably the prohibitive favorite to be the MVP. What do you say, Brian? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, that, that's, uh, you could give it to a handful of different people, but at the same time, I think she is, without, it, without a doubt, the one that you will give it to. Just a little bit of everything. All right, Brian, great job, buddy. Thank you, sir. Appreciate Always a pleasure. It. Great job on both games. We want to thank Brian or Brian Thomas Basketball. Please check out his website. Folks, if uh, you want to get your son or daughter or the best basketball training available, go see my friend Brian. He teaches more, teaches basketball, but also teaches great life lessons. It's a great place for your kid to go. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with the old tournament team, the MVP, and some post-game reaction from the Spartans right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Or do you prefer a silent motion-detecting camera just following the movement on the court? Let's face it, the only real way to watch your favorite team is through Morris Sussex Sports' award-winning service that it's brings you play-by-play -play commentary, right live instant replays, cool cinematic graphics, real-time scoreboard, fun fan engagement, and much, much more. Plus, all of our broadcasts are free to watch. Grandparents can easily pull it up on their smart TVs, and alumni can watch from all over the world. So if you want to reserve us, have your games broadcasted the Morris Sussex Sports way, then just reach out to me, George Muha, at george at morrisessexsports.com or call or text me at in Morristown and Hazlitt, devoted to providing quality legal representation and personal attention in the areas of residential and commercial real estate, estate planning, and personal injury. Contact Joe Philippone at 732-203-0060 or by email at jphilippone at cf-. 
www.lawfirm.com. Your future, it's on. Goals are on. Learning is on. The CCM, the County College of Morris. Online. On point. On your terms. Over 80 majors. Major hope. My career guidance. Number one in alumni salaries in New Jersey. Success, it's on. With CCM, the County College of Morris. Sign up now for summer and fall semesters. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable, and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down.
And we're back here at Hackensack Center College and Bryn McCurry. You guys just won another HWS championship. Your thoughts? It feels great. We've been working really hard to get to this point all off season and during the regular season, and just being able to accomplish this is huge. And especially not being able to play last year, it was unfortunate. But knowing that we came back and won it two for two is a really good feeling. Coach Willie, you're joined by Kathy Willie. Coach, you guys got the American Division. Now you got this two rungs of the ladder. Tough time to get here. Talk about it. Ah, uh, God, these kids are so focused and dialed in, and I, I can't say enough about them. We have played one heck of a schedule, and just to go last week to clinch the league, I mean, we had to do Morristown, Montville, and then face Pope John again. I mean, you can't ask for a tougher schedule, and these kids just keep rising to the task. I'm so proud of them. They had the lead at the half, Pope John. They, they played well. Alana Robinson was shooting lights out. You guys went on a 26 run in the third quarter behind that full court pressure defense. Talk about what was the difference in the third quarter as you guys made this a comfortable win. Pressure definitely helps us get pumped up. Um, it really got us going out there and going out for everything. And everyone's always hardworking. They're always going to hustle as hard as they can to get to that ball. And that really showed at the end there. We were get, making some hustle plays, which just leave the momentum to us, which is great. Same thing. Our uh, full court press is Thank God <laughs> it made the difference, I think, in the second half. And I think everyone out on that floor did the little things that made the difference in the end. Obviously, Coach Willie is one of the greatest players to ever come out of Sparta in Sussex County. She's being very humble. How does it feel to be now part of the conversation some of the great players and great teams that Sparta's had? When Coach Kikefkin was at Sparta, 14 SEIL tournament titles. You guys have two of these HWS. Talk about you, get, you guys carving out a legacy right now. It's truly an honor to be playing underneath these players, especially Willie. She won't take credit for it, but she's an amazing coach, and she's really giving us all the lessons that she learned, and Coach Meg also. So being able to get that knowledge from people who've experienced it themselves is great. And as a former player and assistant and now the head coach for the last nine years, this has got to be awfully satisfying for you. Uh, it's, it's called full circle. I can't say enough about it, but to be able to be here with this group of young ladies and come back and do this for a second time after the career I had, which was great for a team, but this team is so incredibly more talented than anything I've ever seen at Sparta. Well, you guys have bigger fish to fry. we got the state tournament coming up. You guys got the top seed. You, you got a tough throw with a 16 seed West Sussex. That's a good program, but you guys are focused. Talk about you got a, tomorrow off and then you got a game coming up, I believe Tuesday. Monday at 4, so let's talk about the states. we got to keep the momentum running, and we can't take any team for granted. It's just one game at a time, and hopefully we can get far in the tournament. Yeah, uh, West Essex Monday, that's the next game plan. All right, ladies, well, congratulations. Great Thank job, you. Bryn. Two-time MVP of this tournament, Kathy Willey. 
Hey, that's going to wrap up our coverage live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. I want to thank Brian Thompson, partner, Santiago on the camera, our producer, Paul. I'm Dan Cleary. We'll see you again soon live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. They will give it up. And running the show there was Maddie Rento. Okay. Robinson, that's her shot, and she knocks it down. Back to Rento. Good hands by McCurry. Will stay here, Squire. Alana Robinson. Wow, what a stroke. I thought it quick early lead for the Lions. They needed that. McCurry shot off the rim. Chapman with the board. Sweeney spots up for three. Knocks it down. The one thing you really got to do in transition with Ali Sweeney on the. Looney behind the back gives it up to Chapman. It looks at Acker long distance. New year, baseline jumper, no good. Acker powers up, can't get it to go. McCurry with the putback. She's got four. Grid doesn't have a by McCurry. Outstanding defense. That's just one on one defense right there. Great outlet to Munir for the finish. Allie Sweeney in a terrific. Gets that he ran that 1 3 1. Sure did. Melody Pearl up top. Six foot one. Rento with the jumper, knocks it down for three. She's got eight. Robinson. This her last two. She changes that. Robinson, she'll take the long distance jumper, knock it down for three. My. Sweetie, good job by Rento. Ball movement here, McCurry left alone, knocks down a three. What a big problem. Chapman will get it in to McCurry. Good D by Robinson. Absolutely, Acker with the jumper, she's playing great. She has absolutely huge points. Robinson, see if she pulls up, she will. And rattles that one. We'll see how fresh legs are come fourth quarter for both teams. Curry knocks it down. Such a huge, such a huge part of her game that she has expanded, which makes she, it just makes her so much more deadly. And then getting the steal and the finish. And she's got 18. Trying to cut into their 10 point deficit. First couple minutes, so important. They got to keep it within striking distance early in this fourth. There's Miller stepping out. And we talked to Again, 29-25, Pope John at the break. Yeah. If she pulls up, 